Now here the question is a circle with center at origin intersects the parabola x square is equal to 2y at the point p in the first quadrant. Let the tangent to the circle c1 at p touches the other two circles c2 and c3 at r2 and r3 respectively. Suppose c2 and c3 have equal radius 2 root 3 and centers q2 and q3 respectively. If q2 and q3 lie on y axis then we have to find which of the following options are correct. So here we have this circle which is x square plus y square equals 3 and it intersects this parabola x square equals to 2y at this point p. So what we'll do is we'll first find coordinate of this point p. So it'll be this y square plus 2y minus 3 equals 0. So it'll be this y plus 3 y minus 1 equals 0. So from here we get y equals to 1 because this point it is in the first quadrant and if you put y as 1 we'll get x as root 2. So this point P is root 2 comma 1. Now we'll draw tangent to this circle C1 at this point P and it'll be given by root 2x plus y and it is equal to 3. So that is the equation of this tangent. Now it says it touches two circles C2 and C3 whose radius is 2 root 3 and they lie on y axis. So suppose we have two circles say Q2 and Q3 the radius are equal and this tangent it touches two circles at points R2n, R3. Now suppose center of Q2 and Q3 it is given by 0 comma k then perpendicular distance from the center must be equal to its radius. So from here we can write 0 plus k minus 3 upon root 3 will be equal to 2 root 3 or k minus 3 it is equal to plus or minus 6. Now if we take minus sign we will get k as minus 3 and if we take plus sign we will get k as 9. So this q2 is 0 comma 9 and q3 is 0 comma minus 3. So we have q2 as 0 comma 9 and q3 as 0 comma minus 3 we can write q1 q2 and q1 q2 is 12 that means this option a it is correct and in this case this line will not pass through origin so suppose this is your x-axis now we find coordinate of this point where this line it intersects y-axis for y-axis we will put x as 0 so this point will be 0 comma 3 now this is 90 and this is also 90 this is 6 this is 2 root 3 so basically this point say a r2a it will be this distance 6 6 square is 36 minus now 2 root 3 square will be 12 so it will be root 24 which is 2 root 6 and this distance also it will be 2 root 6 so both the distances they are 2 root 6 so distance between r1 r2 it will be simply 4 root 6 that means this option b is also correct now this c is area of triangle o r2 r3 now we already have base so r2 r3 is 4 root 6 now we can find perpendicular distance d and there will be perpendicular distance from origin to this line so there will be this 3 by root 3 and there will be simply under root 3 so area of this triangle will be half base basis 4 root 6 into altitude which is 3 so this is 2 so it will be simply 6 
root 2. That means this option C is also correct. And option D is area of triangle P Q2 Q3. Now Q2 Q3 is 12. Corner of this point P is root 2 comma 1 and perpendicular distance from y axis it is equal to x coordinate. So perpendicular is root 2. So area of this triangle will be 1 by 2 base into altitude and there will be 6 root 2 square units. That means this option D is incorrect. So the correct options are A, B and C.